guys welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing great and everyone is staying safe today's recipe is a delicious traditional guyanese recipe guys um who know of pot roast chicken yes that's it guys we are doing some guyanese style pot roast chicken and this was request was was requested by one of my viewers and her name is darshini puran so darshini this recipe is for you thank you for all your love and support on my channel i do hope you enjoy it um of course guys i am doing pot roast chicken ash style okay you guys know i always put my own twist to recipes and this is my take on it um some of the ingredients are not um, traditionally used but i love to spice it up and do it my take um the way my family and i enjoy it okay guys please give it a try if you enjoy the recipe okay so let's get started so here i have um four leg quarters that i cut up and i wash it with some lemon and vinegar and you know get out all, most of the fat and clean it up well i am also using some casrip some cassava casrip these are all my spices that i'm using and um, they will all will be listed in the description box below along with the measurements guys and um, i have here all my aromatics which is like my onion scallion shallot um i have here some celery i have some cilantro some of my green seasoning some thyme fresh grated ginger and this is some broadleaf thyme guys and i have some carrots and red sweet peppers so let's get to the seasoning part of this chicken i usually um, season mine and marinate it and let it sit for overnight um, you can season this and let it sit for at least two to three hours the same day and that is totally fine i just prefer to have mine seasoned overnight i feel like the flavors penetrate better so this is what we're going to be doing so let's get started guys all our spices in the bowl and remember guys everything will be listed in the description box below that i'm using along with the measurement this is a little bit frozen i'll just have to thaw it out before i add it there and i'm gonna add all our ingredients to this bowl so um, what I do for my broadleaf thyme, over the summer I plant a bunch of um, broadleaf thyme and um, I just grind them up, you know, at the end of the seasoning. I would pick all of it and you know the broadleaf thyme, like the fragrant is like amazing and um, it spreads like wildfire when you plant it. So this is a piece that I have um, frozen. I usually take it out, let it thaw out and add it to whatever, you know, I wanna add it to, you know, it gives the food a nice flavor. And I'm gonna go in here with our casrip. And I'm gonna mix this in. Mix everything in guys, well. Look at all these beautiful colors. All the um, aromatics is going to start break down in here and season this meat well. This meat is going to be so flavorful and delicious. You wanna get seasoning all over in the cracks of the meat. And some of the um, meat, I pull the skin out as the kids then don't care for it. Some I leave on. It's your preference. If you like the skin to keep some on, And guys, some of the spices I'm using, if you do not have the spice or you do not have access to the spice, um, you can eliminate it or substitute it for something else, guys. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more Kaz repair because it's looking, you know, it's, it's a little too, I need it to be a little darker. Atiana be my handy dandy because my hands are dirty. Throw some Kaz Rip in here for me. That's good, that's good. And this is all towards your preference color too, guys. Um, I'm gonna add in the description box below um, how many, how much I add, casrip I add. And you can add less or more depending on the color you want. So you see I'm pulling back this with the skin and make sure it's like everything is, is under the skin and it's well seasoned. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up, let it marinate overnight or two to three hours and then we're gonna proceed to the other step of um, finishing off our pot roast chicken so see you guys 
okay guys so this is what our marinated chicken looks like beautiful guys beautiful so i have um, my karahi here heating up with some oil you can use a large pot too for this uh, make sure it's big enough so all the chicken you know have its own space and nothing is sitting on top of each other because you want like a nice perfect sear on the chicken and that is the sizzle we're looking for guys The, you know, each piece is their own um, spot to sear really nice. So this is why I recommend using a big pot. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now, I'm going to go ahead and add all this goodness that we have in the bowl here, right on top of the chicken. We're not going to add any water or so as of now. We're just going to cover this and let it do its thing. So what I want um, from my chicken pieces is I'm just looking for it to have like that beautiful sear on one side. Then I'm going to flip it. So as of right now, we're just going to leave this, let it do its thing. I'm going to cover it and then I'm going to come back and show you when we're flipping it, what it's looking like. Okay guys, so this is what our pot roast chicken is looking like guys. So um, I got caught up and I didn't come back on camera to show you guys when we were flipping it. But 10 minutes into it guys, I went ahead and flip it and do you see that? It has that beautiful caramelization on it. Um, I didn't add no water or any liquid to it. It's cooking in its own juice. It's simmering in its own juice. And it's smelling and it's tasting delicious, guys. Remember, I didn't add any um, salt to my chicken. That is because of all the spices I used. They had enough salt. But you can taste the gravy here now and see if you want salt. If you want to add more salt, you can go ahead and add it. So um, we're going to flip this back. So I already flipped it once. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it again. And you wanna do that, like, you know, you gotta keep an eye on it and you wanna do that so the chicken, you know, don't stick or get um, any hot spot or burn. You want it to cook evenly. And it has that beautiful, beautiful color, guys. We have a runaway karahi here. But look at that, guys. It has a beautiful color, beautiful caramelization color. And that is from the Kaz Reap, you know. It reminds me of a nice um, rich pepper pot. Eee, yum. Put some sugar in there. We have some pepper pot, right? Um, some people do add sugar to their um, pot roast. You could add a little bit of sugar. But I didn't because, you know, the cash rip is sweet and um, the carrot and the sweet pepper release that sweetness to it. And I don't want it to be too sweet. So I'm going to cover this back and I'm going to come back and check it and let you guys see what it's looking like. This doesn't have long more. I would say about maybe eight minutes more or so. And we're going to have finished pot roast chicken. Okay, guys. So this is what our finished pot roast chicken is looking like, guys. It's completely finished. When you sink a knife into that, it goes in very, very, very easy. Very easy. Soft and delicate and nice. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I am going to go ahead and take my chicken out of here. Scoop out some of the oil from the gravy and put the gravy separate from the chicken. 
and we're gonna serve this meal up and I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like. Here you have it guys, our finished plated pot roast chicken and Darshani, I hope you enjoy this recipe. I cannot wait to hear your feedback on your thoughts when you try it and if you enjoy it this chicken is so 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 delicious it's soft it's juicy it's moist it's everything you want in a chicken guys i went ahead and cut into it guys this is what it's looking like inside of course the camera would never focus when you want it to focus right guys but anyways and this is my take and some delicious pot roast chicken. I serve it up with some fresh um, chow mein noodles. And you know, it's the fresh pasta I got, the chow mein noodles pasta and made my noodles. And guys, if you haven't tried the fresh pasta, you should. It's so, so, so delicious, guys. Way better than the um, packaged noodle. I will upload a recipe and how to um, prepare that fresh pasta noodle. Um, of course, I didn't make it, you know, I, I bought it from the store. I got it from the um, freezer section. It's not frozen. It's just in the refrigerator section. But um, back to the chicken, guys. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please do give it a try as it's packed a ton of flavors. And it's very, very, very juicy and delicious and quick and simple and easy to do. So with that being said, I am going to see you guys again soon with another great recipe. Thank you for tuning in and joining me in the kitchen. I hope everyone have a great day. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. Bye guys. Love you all.